welcome. My name is Pastor Rachel Mori at Northfield United Methodist Church. This is the intro video for our Reading the Bible in a Year series for Philippians and Hebrews. So, uh, Philippians is a letter by Paul. We think it was written sometime between uh, uh, the year 60 and the year 95 AD when it was referred to in another letter. So, uh, we have pretty good confidence that this one was actually written by Paul. There's some others that we sort of aren't too sure about. But we have some confidence in this one for, for a number of reasons. Uh, it's mainly about Paul's uh, rejoicing in how he sees the Philippians living out uh, the faith that he preached and uh, specifically in their generosity. Uh, he has high praise for their generosity. He gets a little snarky in this letter, but not as nearly as snarky uh, as he does in some of the other letters. But his primary point is rejoicing in uh, what he sees the Philippians doing. But he still is driving home the point that he uh, has in so many of his other letters that we've already talked about, which is the primacy uh, of uh, faith over works. And so for Paul, it is so important to emphasize that, um, that it is faith that is at work in grace and that action comes from that. Action does not precede uh, grace, but uh, actually action springs from receiving grace. So it's very important for Paul uh, that the Philippians understand that. So he highlights that, underlines it in his brief letter to them. The letter to the Hebrews is actually not a letter per se. It ends like a letter, but does not begin like a letter, and does not read at all like a letter. Uh, it has the, some of the most sophisticated Greek in the entire New Testament, and uh, some of the more sophisticated analogies, and some of the more complicated analogies you'll find in the New Testament. It reads more like a sermon, and we think that's what it is. And based on the title, that's what the earliest readers uh, of this letter, or sermon, or what, whatever you want to call it, it, it was, seemed very much aimed at uh, people who were part of the Jewish community who had uh, taken on the Christian message as central to their uh, new faith identity. So uh, this is um, an exhortation to stay strong in the faith. Uh, some scholars think it was primarily for second generation Christians um, who had not seen the kingdom of God come immediately after the resurrection of Jesus. And so we're feeling kind of disillusioned with the whole Christian project. And so most of the bulk of Hebrews is really encouraging and exhorting people to keep to uh, the faith and to run the race as best they can. So that's what these two uh, documents in the New Testament, what the they, uh, are about. If you have any questions, post in the comments below and we'll address them as they come. Thanks. Happy reading.